<laughs> Tony, they're meant to fly, not skid, mate. Pretty special today, a bit of a treat, and it's gonna be a bit emotional. We're with Long Range Tony. We are flying around this glorious craft, which the design is older than I am, and we're about to learn a bit of history of what our RC was like in the 80s. And today we've got the next version right here that's been put together in the flesh. So stay tuned because this one you're not gonna to want to miss. Long Range Tony, can you tell me what you have, why it is special to you, and what is the deal with this gorgeous looking, I'm going to say old school plane you've got here in your hands? So, um, what is this? So, this is a mini panic. It's a plane that is um, designed, manufactured by a, a small model shop in the UK called Aviecraft. Mm -hmm. They're in Bromley in London. Um, and why is Aviecraft so important to you too? Aviecraft was pretty fundamental for me. When I was uh, 12, I started flying RC planes and Aviecraft was the local model shop. Uh, when I turned 14, I started working there behind the counter selling planes and we used to build these panics. They were a bit bigger than this. They were made from foam and balsa wood and they had 45 uh, glow engines or 60 glow engines. What's a glow so, engine? So, so it has a little glow plug in the top. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. This is all. So, I only know electric motors. So, well, so give they me were, some they history were, lessons. They were like um, two-stroke fuel, okay. and, and they had a little um, like a spark plug in the top. Yep. And um, so internal combustion engines with big tune pipes, so a big tune okay. exhaust system. Um, and they used to have a display team, and so we used to fly. What's a display um, team like? A show off. So. Team. You Ten fly. of these flying at once, okay. um, all doing prop hangs and flat spins and inverted spins. And you were part of that? Uh, I was never part of it, but we used to fly with all the guys from the team up at the Bickley Model Flying Club. And so I reached out to uh, Rob Newman at the at the shop recently and uh, did a deal with him to get myself a, a, a one of these kits shipped over. This is the Mini Panic, yep. and this one's specifically set up for electric motor, which is did very... Did he remember you? He did remember me, and we sent some Probably photos. That annoying and, kid. Yeah, I was the annoying <laughs> kid that used to do it. But you know, we've we've stayed in touch since, and I've now uh, got three models off of him. And uh, this was the first one that I got. Do they have flying. an online shop, or is no, this, old right, this is this is full old school. Go there. All right, Go so there. You got to, it. What's it called? One last time, so we can't put a link. Avicraft. Avicraft. And, How do you spell um, that? A V. A V I C R A F T. Avicraft um, in Bromley, London. Check them out. Go right. down there. Say hi to Rob and uh, get yourself one of these. These are amazing. This is made, and this is made out of wood, right? Balsa so, wood. So this is made out of balsa wood's uh, ribs and spars and everything super glued together. They do a great job now. They laser cut the wood um, to make them light. One of the great features we always used to have was the, um, the struts on the end. They press that off. Okay. So there's little press studs that are in there. What does that do? Just it makes it easy to take apart and okay, they're very, sure, very sure. sturdy when they're in place. Yes. Oh, yeah, because um, yeah, you've got to take this apart to put it in your car. Yeah. yeah. It's held together by some rubber bands. So just rubber bands, the old score, got a little brushless uh, ESC in here. Um, lots of throw on the on the control so you can do some crazy maneuvers. So Now is this recommended for beginner pilots? Do I get to fly this one line of sight? Uh, you're not going to fly this one. Sure. Ever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not even FPV. So great little plane. Um, I'm going to fly off the smooth stuff so we don't have any incidents. Okay. But it doesn't need much of a runway. <laughs> We're going to just take it off down here and give it a little fly. So You're in the rough road there, is that fine? We'll be fine. It takes nothing to take off. All right. Oh, it's up. In like, it's almost vertical, brother. That is vertical. That's just hanging there. You're going to break that. You're freaking me out, Tony. Nah, this is all good. This is all good. This thing is lovely to fly. It's nice and slow. Look at it. It's just coasting. Seven. All right, no one, that's pretty far away. We're not gonna be able to see that as the viewers, but what do you like about flying this versus some of your other things? Just the maneuverability of it and the ability to be able to- Can you prop, do a slow, low pass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ability to just be able to prop hang it, which is where you put the nose up in the air and it just sits there like a helicopter. So I'm gonna fly it by. So it's just a nice, slow plane to be able to fly. With having being a biplane, got really low wing loading. What does that mean? So it just means it doesn't need a lot of air moving over the wing to fly. You can see how slow this is going. And then at the same time, I can take it and it will just go up forever. Can you do a loop? Minutes. Yep, 
I mean, I'll come back around and do one so you can see it. It looks beautiful in the air. It is, it's magic. Do you get some nostalgia flying this? I do. Like we used to fly these as kids, as I say, and it was it was the only planes we used to fly. The, the Panic was a was this biplane. I'm worried you're going to break it. It's actually making me nervous because it looks no, like it's, it's going to explode. It's all good. It's all good. So this one's the Panic, and then they had a single wing version which was co called a Moronic. Um, and again, they're just really nice planes to fly. You can fly them like this, super slow. It's got so much power. And so does it feel weird coming back? You, this is how you come full circle. Gee, it's got some go when you give it it. I can't see. You're going to crash that, brother. No. Stop it. No. Why am I Five nervous about minutes. breaking it? It's your silly plane. It's because you keep bringing me out to fly stuff and you make me break it. You don't have it's to break your, this. It's all your Break fault. it, break it, or you... Or a little prop so hang again. who's just reckon... a prop hang again. Here. What's oh, yeah. a prop hang? Oh, yeah, you're hanging in the air. Oh, you panicked a little bit? Yeah, just... Oh, that's exactly right. It's a panic. Remember? So who's this made for? This is made for experienced flyers. There you go. Oh, Tony, that's bad. Whoa! Good. That good. was bad. It's so all it's... good. <laughs> I'll bring it in for a landing and we'll talk. All right, all right, okay? yeah, bring it in, bring it in. Nice landing. Nice landing. On Are long they coming towards us? No, no, I'm going to go the other way. It's not dropping Finish. enough. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's because it's so slow, isn't it? So you yeah. can just hang it there. Gentle, gentle. Lovely. Man, aviation, aviation, when you stop being silly. Isn't it crazy just what a couple of bits of wood strapped together with the right shape can do? Just the right shape. It's a great design, timeless design, um, just beautiful. Um, All right. So who, who would you recommend this for? Because I you, you don't even want me to touch it like um, on the sticks. Do you know what? It, with, with that setup, if you dial down the throws of the controls, I mean, I've got massive amounts of... Um, I've got huge amounts of rudder set up. Yep. So, so let lets you do the prop hangs. If you can dial it down so you've got much less rudder, and again, same on the ailerons, just dial it down, you saw how slow and steady it is. Um, and there's enough power that if it starts to stall, give it a blip of power and she just powers straight out. So a, a beginner could definitely fly that if you set it up right. Okay, but um, what about durability? Because this looks like I'm gonna sneeze at it. No, to be honest, to be honest, it's pretty strong. Um, it. They're pretty resilient. You just don't put them in the ground, you know. Yeah, that's don't, don't uh, every a tree single plane and, I've ever flown has ended up in the ground. Yeah, you just don't fly it with Stu in his quads. Yep. because he tends to like to. Hit that's the quads why you don't want me plane. to chase that's, it. That's right. I got you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Um, but look, they're a timeless plane. Um, they've been copied many times in, and called different things. But this but, was the original. But, this particular plane, um, the Panic, the big, the big brother, this from is the mini, AV, what was from it? From AV Craft. AV Craft. Give it a go, go down there, say hi to Rob, buy yourself one, you will love them. So if you're in the UK, go and check them out. They are just sensational. And um, look, it's a small family business. Um, the, the father recently passed away, Bunny, um, who actually used to come and pick me up and drive me to work when I was a kid. Um, so, you know, family business, um, still a successful uh, shop, but they then, need support. Okay. So go down there and, and uh, say hi and, and buy yourself a mini panic because they are so much fun. All right, nice. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. Look, hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a different video, I guess, today because it's not every day we have, not only is this not modern, this is what, 30 oh, years? This is probably 30 year old design. 30 year old maybe. design from a bit of Tony's history. Yeah back in uh back in england so i don't know hope you guys enjoyed that something a little bit different a little bit special go say hello to av craft in AV where craft was it in london L bromley bromley okay yep. and uh check it out all right Good work. Nice. Cheers, mate. thanks man Bye. i'm glad you didn't break it because i didn't want this one to break oh, freaking me out <laughs> hold on to the back here, no right? i'm not touching it it looks too valuable just the thrust on this thing is amazing
You gotta cut your hand off, bro. I could let that go like that and just go straight up. Don't do that. <laughs> like, see, I'm being the responsible one here for a change. 